So what tourniquet's the best? Today we're gonna go over two of the most popular tourniquets and then also a couple options that you probably haven't heard of that may be a, a better fit for you. So starting off is the CAT tourniquet. This is the Gen 7. The CAT 7 is probably the most common tourniquet that you'll see out there available um, just from its use in the US military. But it's a very robust, very simple tourniquet to use. And that's why we built our Blue Alpha tourniquet holder around it. Next is the Soft T tourniquet. It's probably the second most popular. Um, this has been adopted by a lot of units in the military. But um, I think what made the Soft T popular in the beginning is that the windlass on some of the older cats was a little flimsy. And so people preferred the aluminum one. Um, but the soft tee is still a really good option. It comes in a variety of colors. I believe it's five colors. The cat tourniquet does as well. Come in a few colors, but this has more color options if that's something that you're looking forward to. Next up is the tactical mechanical tourniquet. Um, this is probably, this is, I think this is, this is the widest one that we have out here today. It's still a very simple, very robust tourniquet. It has a couple of a couple of features that are really nice, um, that we can go over, but it's just really simple when putting it on the windlass clips in to, um, the retention clip super easily. And then the actual polymer clip that goes around is actually has a has a, a curved shape to it. That way it fits onto your leg, super nice. Now the SAM tourniquet, if you've been in the medical field with the United States military, you are familiar with this brand, um, whether it just be from the SAM, SAM splints or the SAM junctional tourniquets, it's the same idea. What's nice about this one is that when you're applying it to your leg, at a predetermined tension, just like on the junctional tourniquets, the tourniquet itself will lock, will shoot two barbs into, that's what all these holes are for. It'll shoot two barbs to lock the tourniquet. And that's telling you, you have applied the proper amount of tension to use the windlass correctly to help stop some blood flow. And then the final tourniquet is the TX2 or the M2 tourniquet. This is probably the most unique one that's out here. Um, it takes a completely different approach to the traditional ones. It doesn't use a windlass. It uses this binder. So if you've put on uh, ski boots or, ski, or uh, boots for snowboarding, you know how to use this tourniquet. Um, the only catch to this one that I don't necessarily like over the other ones, this is, and my guess is this is probably how it's meant to be attached, is um, these two little metal clips here are pretty small. And so if you're not proficiently trained on how to use this tourniquet, it may be a little difficult if you were to undo this whole thing and then try and put it out or try and put it on someone. So my suggestion is probably just make it as big as possible and then just loop it over. And so that way it's just easier um, to apply. It's got a nice pull handle you can hold onto and then it tells you to pull tight and tells you which direction to go. It's a very easy, very simple tourniquet to explain to someone who doesn't really have any medical experience. So which tourniquet holder was the best? Really, it's whichever one you're most comfortable with. For us, it's the cat tourniquet. That's what we train with. That's what we built the Blue Alpha tourniquet holder around. But any of these tourniquets are good options as long as you train with it and you're comfortable with it. Um, I would just recommend, if it's not one of these, buying a Katsi approved tourniquet. And if you don't know what that is, just go look it up. But and also buying your medical supplies from a reputable dealer or a reputable company. Don't save the $3 and buy it off of Amazon. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below. Tell us other videos you would like to see, and we hope to see you around.